So over the last few weeks, I've really enjoyed playing around with AI image generators. And in this video, I'm going to compare Dolly 2 with Canva's text to image. So let's get started. I'm going to create a text prompt and then show you the results from both Dolly 2 and then Canva and we'll compare them side by side. So first I'm going to choose this prompt, a 3D render of a fat purple gorilla in a cage at the zoo on a dark blue background and I'm going to say digital art. These are the images that Dali was able to come up with and this is what Canva's text to image came up with. So on your screen you see Dali on the left and you see Canva on the right. Let's try another one. Here's our next prop. This is elephant riding a bicycle through New York City. Let's try first with Dali. Here are the results. As you can see, they look pretty cool. Now let's try that same prompt in Canva's text to image again. Here are the two images that Canva was able to generate. So as I put these side by side, you can see what each program was able to generate based on this prompt. Here's our next one. This is crazy sports fan jumps over a flaming table and I said in the style of pop art. This is what Dali was able to generate. And these were the images that Canva was able to generate. So when you put these side by side based on this prompt, you can tell that Dali 2 gives you a much better image in my opinion anyways. How about this next one, a pastel drawing of a hand holding an iPhone Pro Max 13. These are the images that Dolly 2 was able to generate. And now these are the ones that Canva came up with. So this next prompt I was able to find off a website. I'm going to choose this one, Metaverse Lifestyle Board Apes very detailed. Here are the four different images that came up. Don't really care for any of these. And here's what was returned. You know, I kind of like Canva's version better than the one that Dali was able to generate. So those are just a few examples of the differences between the image generator in Dolly 2 and in Canva. If I were you, I would go ahead and play around with both of these because it's really interesting to see what image comes up based on your prompt. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below.